Hello everyone, in this video, let us talk about the script runner's new code editor. In case you are wondering whether uh, you can learn scripting in Jira using script runner, of course, you know that we need to use Groovy, which is great. And when you are using script runner for Jira, it is not really about uh, the language. Of course, you should know a bit of uh, programming. If you know probably uh, Groovy already, then that is great. Even if you don't know Groovy and you have been doing some uh, coding or maybe you have some experience, that is still fine. You can always learn. Now, when it comes to script runner for uh, Jira, uh, you can definitely start looking uh, online. You can probably find a lot of uh, examples where you can uh, find people on the community who will probably help you or there, there is already a lot of uh, material online that you can refer to. But if you are new to uh, script runner, if you're new to maybe Jira, uh, you, are, you can basically start learning uh, by spending time. But the good thing is that in the new version of script runner, we have this code editor with some improvements that will really help you in uh, writing code much faster. So let me show you uh, what I'm trying to uh, say. So let us say you're trying to create a new escalation service and uh, escalation service is all about uh, doing something on a regular basis. So you can of course uh, start writing or start uh, with your JQL. So I don't really want to talk about the escalation service in this particular video. I want to show you the, uh, the magic of new code editor. So let us say I am trying to auto update the issues uh, that are uh, uh, not updated in the past seven days. So you can type any JQL and uh, what you want to do on a regular basis, you may want to probably uh, close them or uh, just uh, uh, add a comment maybe uh, after the issue is closed. Uh, after, after the issue is closed. So when it comes to uh, doing some um, things additionally, you can definitely save this escalation service, it will still work. But there is something called as additional issue actions. And you have this console where you can write some code. Now, there are some examples already, already in this particular uh, um, escalation service, which is great, you can uh, take a look at these examples uh, as a starting point. But there is also this uh, new feature in this code editor where you can uh, start typing and you can look for some uh, suggestions. So basically, if you want to do something with the issue, so you can start typing uh, issue. So I'm not really doing this uh, completely. And uh, the moment you start uh, typing, let us say IESS, you can press contr control space on your keyboard and what to uh, this will do, this editor will, will do, it will uh, give you the suggestions. So right now I'm uh, able, to look, able to look at uh, what all possibilities are there with the uh, issue. And of course you need to have some experience with Jira. If you have been doing Jira administration for a while, I think this is still uh, uh, fine because uh, at least you know what are the things that you can do with maybe issues or maybe if, if you're talking about um, workflows or there are so many things if you know the terminology uh, this editor will basically help you in uh, finding your way easily and of course you can do your google search that is still uh, the right approach you can look for uh, the possible uh, examples or use cases there is plenty of material online but if you are new to script runner if you're new new to writing scripts in Groovy. I think this is really good because uh, you can uh, write code very quickly if you want to probably do something on your own. So right now I'm trying to do something with issue. And in this particular example, I want to add a comment after the issue has been closed uh, in bulk on a regular basis. So what I can do, uh, I can uh, use this issue input uh, parameters. And I know this from experience that to add a new comment, you need to use issue input parameters and uh, I can, I like the suggestion, I want to just press enter. And uh, this is now, of course, uh, there for me without uh, me figuring out what is the right uh, uh, keyword or syntax. If I probably miss my um, S in the parameters, it will not be the valid uh, uh, thing that I'm trying to do here, valid uh, class name or maybe the valid method name. But uh, since I'm using this uh, code editor, I can do it properly. So 
the next thing that I want to do is I want to add a comment. So for, for adding a comment, I, I know that I'm trying to set something. So this is some, so there are a few things that you know, if you know already, then that is great. But even if you don't know anything about what you can do further, you can press, uh, of course, dot. And then if you press control space, you can see whatever you can do, all the possibilities. And you can do, you can take a look at the different uh, methods that you can probably call and maybe, um, you know, you want to probably, let us say, set the field or maybe add a comment. So right now we are trying to set uh, a comment. So we can see here that the the method name is set comment and the input or the parameter should be uh, of type string. So let me press enter and uh, uh, I can now of course uh, enter my comment. But if let us say this particular method uh, takes multiple parameters or if you're not really sure uh, about the parameters, so you can also press command P, uh, sorry, control P. Um, not command p so you can take a look at different uh, parameters that this method will accept so right now we are trying to just uh, add a simple comment so let me add something like auto closed issue this is great and uh, so 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 far we have seen two things uh, control space uh, that will uh, show you everything that you can possibly do uh, and uh, control uh, P to get the list of uh, parameters. Now there is uh, something really interesting if you want to know further, uh, because we also have this uh, Java docs. Uh, I mean, there is a library, there is this API thing that uh, is there for you. You can go to the Atlassian website, you can take a look at uh, those APIs. But uh, if you're not sure uh, what set comment will do, or maybe what issue input parameters will do, you can then press Control J, and it will open up a new um, window on your uh, uh, browser. And you can see here that uh, right now we can take a look at the exact uh, thing that you can possibly do with the uh, set command. It will basically open the uh, Java doc file for you, and uh, it will look for the APIs on your docs docs.atlassian.com. So this is something really interesting because uh, although if you want uh, to um, do this uh, coding even more uh, properly, you can always use IntelliJ. Ideally, you should be using your IntelliJ or some kind of a local development before using those scripts on uh, on maybe your uh, proper production environment. And uh, uh, the, the concern is that you might not always have IntelliJ. Maybe you just want to write a single line or maybe if you have no access to IntelliJ uh, and you still want to write code properly, you still want to um, uh, make sure that uh, uh, the methods that you're trying to use, uh, they are correct. So you can take a, you, you can basically use this uh, new code uh, editor using uh, your script runner and it will help you in uh, writing code uh, even more, uh, even faster or maybe in a better way. So I hope uh, this video was useful. Thank you very much.